Hello, my name is Jonathan Rosenblum, head game critic at Tibbs TV, and today we're going to be doing something a little bit different and putting ourselves in the shoes of Scoob and the gang as they live that hashtag van life and travel around the country solving mysteries that really should be left to the police. You walk through a spooky haunted mansion to find a tortured soul who wants nothing more than to gouge your eyes out and feed them to you. It's a very spooky premise that has nearly sold me on the legitimacy of ghosts. And today, we're going to be taking the same skills we've gained from Phasmophobia and apply them IRL and see if we can't catch ourselves a ghost. Using the same items from the game, a thermometer, a flashlight, an EMF meter, a book, and we're gonna use these tools to do the impossible, provide concrete evidence that ghosts exist. If you're playing Phasmophobia and you're not stupid, then you know the best way to find the ghosts early on is to use the thermometer to check for temperature changes. So it seems that Phasmophobia is already showing itself to be a false prophet and has completely forgotten about the fact that air conditioners exist, maintaining a constant, cool, comfortable temperature throughout my entire house. But don't worry, we still have some hope that we can find a ghost. We're going to use my studio room and the ghost book and see if we can't conjure up the ghost by calling out his name. Mike Cunt, are you there? Mike Cunt, are you there? Maybe he'll respond to this. What's up? What was that? What was that? This could have only been the work of a ghost.